We understand the earth to be our mother. We know she provides for us everything we need. Not always everything we want, but everything we need. And so to remember and acknowledge that part is very important. And by being here today and knowing and recognizing the importance of Mskew, Mshkuk Makwa, the blood of our Earth Mother, Naba, that lifeblood, water. We know ourselves as a sacred part of creation, part of, not above or below any other. All beings here, the four-legged, the winged, the swimmers, the crawlers, the plant life, the earth itself, those beings have as much right to exist as we do. And we know that. It's time to acknowledge and start doing that. We the two-legged, mankind, we are the ones that have strayed the furthest from our path. Those original teaching Creator gave to us when he lowered man to the earth. And so we need to get back to that. We have talked and been told about the time would come when people would look for something different. You can call it religion if you want. We call it natural law, common sense. Why complicate things beyond what they need to be? When will we listen? When? If not soon, it will be too late, not for us, but for our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, all those ones we are responsible for. We are told, as Anishinaabek people, we think seven generations ahead and are responsible for that. So today, we ask the Creator to look kindly upon us, to carry our message to where it needs to go in all those directions. I'd like to share a song with you all. And I would ask that you close your eyes and have that one thought about what it is that we need to do. And it's very simple. Respect our Earth Mother. Respect all other beings, not just two-legged. When we begin to do those things, it will change. But until then, I am afraid for my great grandkids and their children. So when will we listen?